Hello and welcome to VR Reviews. Today we'll be reviewing the SH Figure Arts Lucario. So yes, here we have Lucario, which originally I suppose would have been a D Arts figure, but for some reason they've changed uh, some of the D Arts stuff over to the SH Figure Arts line, which means really nothing other than changing some letters because it's still same figures, uh, same packaging, same style of accessories. It's essentially the same. They just gave it a new name, which is not a new name. It's just a new name for this particular line. Anyway. Uh, Lucario is a very cool figure. He is the newest Pokemon figure to come out. Very nice articulation, very cool accessories, and overall, he's just very awesome. So let's go ahead and zoom in for the articulation, sculpt bay details, all those sorts of things. Alright, starting off with a quick size comparison. Of course, here we have Lucario. Here is our standard Marvel Legends 6 inch Superior Spider Man, and our Marvel Universe 3 and 3 quarter inch Wolverine. Lucario is a little bit shorter than the average American 6 inch scale figure. And, of course, he is a good bit bigger than a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure. Here are all the D-Arts Pokemon, well, except for Venusaur, because I don't have enough room here. Anyway, Lucario is about the same height as Mewtwo, and then he is a good bit taller than Blastoise and Charizard. The thing is, is Lucario is only supposed to be about 3 foot 11, according to Pokedex data, which means he's way too tall. But then again, this series has been a terrible scale so far, so it's not really all that surprising that he is way too tall. And here Lucario is compared to some other import Super Smash Brothers style figures. Uh, of course you got the Figma, Samus, and Link, and the SH Figure Arts Mario. It's been a long time since I've played Super Smash Brothers, but I do believe that Lucario was not four feet tall in that game, so he probably fits in scale with these for Super Smash Brothers display, which is fine. Anyway, let's get everything else out of here and just look at Lucario. Alright, moving on to our 360 spin, here you can see Lucario. The majority of his body is either a blackish gray or blue. Uh, his chest is yellow and has a little bit of sculpted fur up there around the neck. He has a spike in the middle of his chest and one on each arm. He has some black hands, which are in sort of paw sculpted shapes. He, down there around the legs, the bottom half of his legs are black. They have little pink paw pads on the back there, and he also has some little pink spots on the bottom of his feet. He has a big swoopy tail there in the back, and on the back of his head he has his weird hair dreadlock things. I don't really know what those are, because they're not ears, because he has ears right above those. So, yeah, all of that detail looks really good. He looks pretty much exactly like Lucario should, so that's all fine. Now let's zoom in on his head sculpt and alternative eyes real quick. Alright, here we have Lucario's head sculpt. His eyes are red and they look fairly decent. He's got a black muzzle with a little bit of black that goes up the forehead. He's got some ears up there on the top. He does have a mouth sculpted down there on the bottom. It's a bit difficult to see though. It's just a little line essentially. And then he's got these two alternative sets of eyes. Essentially what you have to do is you have to crack his head open and stick them inside of his head. Which I guess is kind of how eyes work. Not really. And he has one set that's looking off to the side, and then one set that is closed. Uh, they're pretty cool, and they provide for some interesting posing options. Now let's zoom out and look at a little bit of articulation. Alright, articulation-wise, Lucario is very good. I think he may be the best of all the Pokemon figures so far. He has a ball joint head and neck, so that'll go back fairly far. Forward, side to side, twist around, all those sorts of things. Also, those things will fall off. Uh, ball joint shoulders, in and out, forward and back, bicep cut. He has a sort of butterfly joint that lets his shoulder go in and out like that. He has a single hinge elbow that hinges in and out and rotates. He has a hinge here in the paw wrist. It's a diaphragm joint here, which rotates. Flexes in and out very well. Same thing below that. Lots of abdominal movement. Hip ball pegs move in and out, forward and back, drop down. He has some very unusual double jointed knees here that look very strange from the front, but you have to sort of bend them into that weird anatomy that dog legs have. Then he has a ball hinge down here in the ankle that rotates and hinges in and out, pivots, and he has a toe joint as well. And if you put those things back on his head, they have a little ball peg so they'll move in and out and rotate. And he has a ball joint in the tail. So that's all very cool. Very nice articulation. You can get him into pretty much any kind of pose you would really want to. Now Lucario comes with one accessory and a base, so let's go ahead and look at those. Of course Lucario comes with his Aura Sphere. It is a very spiky blue ball. Um, 
it has a little peg hole in it, so you can peg it onto a Tamashi stand. It is made of translucent blue plastic and has all these little power waves going around it, and there's a little blue ball in the center. Um, it's pretty cool. It uh, reminds me a bit of some of the Saint Seiya stuff that I've seen. They have big sort of power balls with waves around them like this. Um, it's pretty cool, and you might could use it for some other figures too if you've got something that it might go with. So that's all very nice. And of course, he comes with the base that was standard issue for the D Arts Pokemon. Uh, it has two short Tamashi rods with three joints in them, and it comes on the big flat round Pokeball base. And here you can see the Aura Sphere on one of the arms. So that's very useful for posing and having flying poses, or just helping him stand up. But he can stand up without one. Anyway, wraps it up for Lucario and all of his accessories, so let's move on to the packaging. Packaging-wise, Lucario comes in basically the same exact packaging as the D-Arts Pokemon did, except it says SH Figure Arts on it instead of D-Arts. They got a little Pokemon logo, here's your window, picture of Lucario there, SH Figure Arts, Tamashii Nation's Bandai logo is down there at the bottom. Uh, big SH Figure Arts logo, as well as a continuation of Lucario, and a little shiny Lucario down there at the bottom. Uh, continuation of the window on that side. And lots of pictures of posing and things that I can't read on the back. As always, these are good for in or out of package display, and it will continue to blend in with your D-Arts Pokemon if you keep them in package. So, yeah. Lucario. Well, Alright, the rest of it for Lucario, so until next time, goodbye! Hello, you've just watched one of my videos. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. If you didn't, run away. Run away and never return. Also, feel free to check out my other channels. Venom Raptor for all my variety gaming content and VR reviews for reviews of various action figures and collectibles. Thank you and goodbye.